Hi, Crosspointers. This is Pastor Matt. Thank you for joining us for our daily prayer. Today is Monday, June 29th. And what I want us to focus our prayer on today is thankfulness. Um, it seems redundant. It seems maybe we do this a lot, but I think it's so important for us to be constantly reminded of all the blessings that God has given us. You know, this past week was a bit of a rough week for, for me and my family as both of my cars were broken into. Uh, luckily, nothing was of value was really stolen or taken, but anytime your kind of your personal property is violated in that way, it can be uh, frustrating. And honestly, um, it was very easy for me to get angry and to be uh, upset. But, you know, one of the things that I've been trying to practice is thankfulness. And one of the things that I'm thankful for is that yeah, even though some things were taken, nothing seriously was taken, there was no big damage to the car, but more than anything it was that my family was safe. And that's such a reminder that even when we face hardships or when we face um, you know, difficult situations in life, there's still so many things that we can be thankful for. And of the utmost is, is first our relationship with Jesus Christ and what he's done for us on that cross. And so would you just please pray with me, uh, just that prayer of thanks. Dearly Father, Lord, we give you thanks for you are a good Father. That though you are so far above us and though you are the creator of the universe, Lord, that you loved us and you gave your Son up for us. And in that we experience the blessings and the joy and the peace and, and the love that we have from you, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, that we would continue to carry that attitude of thankfulness each and every day. That whatever situations that we face and whatever difficult and hardships, Lord, we continue to see how blessed we are. Not based on our circumstances, Lord, but based on you. Based on who you have called us to be. And so I pray, Lord, that we would have a heart of, of gratitude and heartful thank, of thankfulness towards you each and every day. Help us see every day the small blessings and the big blessings that you have given us. We praise you, God, and continue to give you thanks in everything. And it's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome back. Today we are on Luke chapter 3. The passage today reminded me about the great power of Holy Spirit. Even though the pandemic seems to be limited cross points activities, but in reality, the evangelical movement has never been stopped. In today's scripture, John the Baptist was preaching about the baptism of repentance. The crowd who got baptized was asking John the same question for three times, which was, what should we do? The answer given by John was just to do good deed, don't be greedy, don't accuse people. Matter of fact, you don't need God for those repentances. I think John gave out these advices because pretty much that's what we human can do. John's answer was actually very real. It's because the baptism of repentance was just regarded as an outward ritual signifying the washing away of sin. Performing this ritual without receiving or continuing to rely on the power of the Holy Spirit is like an iPhone without Wi-Fi network. That's really bad. That's why John emphasized that it is Jesus Christ who are able to baptize us with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Praise the Lord that we all now have been born again in the Holy Spirit. Besides being forgiven, we have also received the great power of resurrection. This is not a power understandable by human logic. This is all accomplished in God's logic. Brother and sister, the power of resurrection is now hovering around us big time. Therefore, let's not to use our own logic to serve God, even in this pandemic. We don't need to wait until the physical facility to reopen but to rely on God's power and guidance to spread the gospel now. Let's turn on the Wi-Fi and continue to put the cell phones to use. Brothers and sisters, the Wi-Fi is on now and let's well use the internet by inviting people to join our online fellowship. Let's promote our online events through different social media channels. Let's tell people about Jesus Christ while you're playing online games. You, you may give out some online weapons as a gift to make friends online in the name of Jesus Christ, right? Let's do our best to evangelize and let's look forward to experience the resurrected power of God in this pandemic to glorify Him. Thank you. I will see you next time.